guys and welcome back for another video. So Valentine's Day is literally around the corner, it's next weekend. Um, and you're probably thinking of gifts that you could probably get your loved ones or just um, ways you can spend some quality time with them. So in this video I'm just going to be spilling some of my gift ideas and some of my quality time ideas, but especially for those in a long distance relationship. As many of you probably know, I am in a long distance relationship myself and I have been for five years now. And I know that there's so many other people that are also in a long distance relationship. So if you are in a long distance relationship, then be sure to check out my advice video. I'll link it right here. Um, hopefully, I won't be in a long distance relationship for that much longer. Um, me and my husband can apply for a marriage visa in 16 days. And hopefully we'll get a reply soon after we apply. Um, so yeah, anyways, let me get into the gifts. Now these are sort of cheap creative gifts because I know when um, sending something to your loved one abroad it can be very very expensive depending on where they live so these are cheap ideas but still that come from the hearts because I know you have to spend so much money on postage. So my first idea for um, this video is a quality time idea. Um, I tell a lot of people that I do this with my husband and they're like what? How does that work? That's weird. So I'm not sure if other long distance relationship couples actually do it, but we love to watch movies together. And I read somewhere that, you know, you can watch the movie separately and then come back to each other. But I don't know, I just think it takes the fun out of it if you're going to watch it separately. So me and my husband, we sit down and we get the same movie up on Netflix and um, we would count down to press play. So obviously if he's at five seconds, I'll take myself to five seconds as well. And then I'll count down and be like one, two, three, one, and we'll both press two, the play button at the three, same time play. so that we could, we're both watching the movie at the same time. And we also wear headphones just because um, if you are on Skype, then you know that there could be an echo sometimes of what the other person is playing. So we do wear headphones so we can still talk to each other during the movie. You can put yourself on mute, but then it just kind of takes away the whole spending time with each other and making it feel like they're actually there because you have to take yourself off mute and then talk to them. Also get some popcorn, maybe get some red wine or some alcohol or if you're a bit younger get some orange juice, cranberry juice is always good for you. I'm not sure if you long distance relationshipers do this so comment down below if you also do this. Okay so my next gift idea is a hamper of um, little gifts so you can get some sweets, maybe a card, a teddy bear, um, like a love heart cushion, some of their favourite little gifts um, that you could probably get pretty cheap. And also to keep postage low, try and fit into a small box and not get like a huge massive box, otherwise the postage is going to be way too much. Another gift idea that I also have is to make a poem. There's nothing like a handwritten poem that says, I love you. Um, you can make it on the computer, but I think it's way more personal if you handwrite it and then send it to them via post. Now, you can always get a card, like a personalised card, and then write a poem in it as well. So, you know, two in one. Um, so it says, to my sexy Valentine, and it has a picture of us two kissing on the beach, and then it says baby cake, because that's what I call him. And then I just wrote a cute little poem. I have a little poem in love heart and, like, a little kiss and stuff. And also, when I send this stuff, I love to spray um, his favourite perfume of mine on the thing so when he opens it he can get like a wolf of me so I really really do love that um, and also give it a little kiss like give the card or poem a little kiss so he can kiss the card too and then <sighs> you guys will be kissing the next gift idea that I have is all of something personalised um, I love getting my husband personalised things like I got him a mug once with the um, Corinthians 13 on it like love is kind love is beautiful and had a picture of us on it and said happy valentine's day so i love doing personalized um gifts you can get a lot of these from wraps they do personalized um pillowcases they do personalized mugs um mouse pads they do so many things that are personalized and a good thing is um depending on where they live you can get it sent straight to them so it doesn't have to come to you and then you send it off so that's another easy way because you can just order it all online and then get it shipped out to them Okay, the next one which I think me and my husband both really enjoy doing is making PowerPoint presentations. So I'm sure you guys must have a whole load of pictures and I think PowerPoint presentations are amazing because they can just open it and then watch it whenever they want. Whenever they're missing you a lot or they're just feeling down and they just need a, you know, a good pick-me-up, they can go watch the PowerPoint presentation and you can put all the animations, put pictures in there, put like Cupid's arrow and stuff like that. I still have the PowerPoint presentations that my husband made me um, on our... 10 month anniversary like when we when we first met or for valentine's day and stuff like that so 
I really do um, love presentations and it's a really good way to sort of flash back and watch it like years later and just see how your relationship was and how you guys were. Um, another gift idea that I love, love, love and I think it will be really cute just to um, put everything in one place is a scrapbook. I made my husband a scrapbook. I think it wasn't for Valentine's Day, I think it was for Christmas and he loves it. And you can just write little quotes that you guys use or jokes and you know, personal joke between you two, you can just write it in the card. I got th this really, really nice um, scrapbook from eBay, I believe, and it has a nice little bow on it. So I think it's really cute. And you can easily print out the pictures of you guys. Printing pictures are so cheap. And then just make it personal, like write the little quotes on it, like I said, little jokes between you guys and, you know, just have fun with it. Okay, and the last um, gift idea that I have is all of them something that they've been looking at for ages. My husband does this for me all the time, like, perfume that I really like or makeup or like these lights that I'm using right now he bought them for me and it was a complete surprise and I just loved it it's really nice for you to get them something like that because it shows that you're listening to them because I, I was always like to my husband babe I really really like this and then he bought it for me so I love it when he sends me things that I've been looking up for ages because it's sort of a nice gesture it almost makes me feel like he's there okay so that's all my gift ideas I hope you enjoyed I didn't want to make this video too long so I did try and cut it down as much as possible but if you do want another gift guide for long distance relationships then just comment down below and I'll do another one and put more gift ideas in there I mean none of these have to necessarily be for Valentine's Day and I don't think they should only be used for Valentine's Day you should always be um, treating your loved one give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and it really helped you to choose a gift for your loved one comment down below if you're in a long distance relationship and let me know where your partner is and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys stay sweet